Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all. Hey. We had a video request. Um, somebody asked that we would do a video introducing all of our farm animals. We thought it was a great idea. It is a great idea. We're going to do the best we can to find everybody because we have cats and chickens and cows and stuff everywhere, but, and pigs. <laughs> so um, anyway, got my new gloves on. One of our viewers gave or got them for us off of our Amazon wish list. Thank you very much. I love these gloves. gloves yeah. My hands in my pockets. <laughs> a little chilly out here. But, but anyway, so we wanted to start with Cookie. This is our Jersey milk cow. She is A2A2, which is a milk protein. If you know anything about milk, you can look into that. And so we have had her for just over a year, but she's kind of the star of the show. She's our, yes. um, if you have a milk cow, you know your homestead pretty much revolves around your milk cow. Exactly. So um, she is due to have a calf in just about three weeks. Yep. And really, after a week from now, you know, we'll be watching her. She's already showing signs of getting closer and closer, so we'll be really watching her. Because um, they can calve up to two weeks before they're due. So we'll just keep a close eye on her. We have her in a paddock behind the house, so we're, you know... Um, just got her close to keep a good yeah, eye on her. Hoping for a little heifer calf, because we've had yes. a bull calf out of her last year. She's crossed with a Tarantase, American Tarantase bull, and that's the kind of cows that we are um, raising right now. So we're really looking forward to it and hoping for a heifer so we'll have a little milk cow. But anyway, yes. so Cookie is Exciting. is awesome. We wanted to start with her because hey, like she's pretty important around here. They're all important, but you have some animals that just... You have your favorites. Your favorites. Yeah. We don't play favorites. Maybe we do. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So, and all right. let's move on. Up here is next. Gertie. Yeah. Uh, this is Gertie. Gertrude. She's and she's been on her. I'm trying to hold on to her. Yeah, we turned her around because she's she's what they call a Dutch belted, but she's a cross. A Dutch belted cross and they're black with the, the little Oreo cow. With the white stripe, her stripe doesn't go all the way around, so we want y'all to see her pretty side. She's going to go But her, her face is pretty on that side. Yep. <laughs> anyway, she is a milk cow. She's a beef milk cross, so she's not a heavy producer. But um, we milk her every day right now. Twice a day. Twice a day. Yep. And she gives us around a gallon or so a day. So she, like I said, she's not a huge producer, but it's enough to keep us in milk while um, cookie is not in milk because the last two months of gestation you need to have them dry so that they can focus their energy on making a baby instead of milk. But she's going to go off that way. She had a, an accident last spring. We have some videos about that. You can go back and watch where she um, was run into a wood post and not, basically knocked her out, knocked her senseless, messed up her neck and she could only walk in right circles for a while. She's improved a lot but there's still just a little little brain damage there. She's a little, a little cognitive off. issue, yeah. She's a little off, but that's okay. She's still, she's still, <laughs> she's queen, still a good but, cow. But uh, yeah, she definitely, she poor thing. She's a little off. <laughs> she's she's yelling at us now. But anyway, so yep. that's Gertie, and we'll walk over here and introduce y'all to Walker the riding cow. All right, here's Walker. <laughs> he he is a Jersey Angus cross. So um, the kids kind of <laughs> fell in love with him, and he's more of a pet. He eats animal crackers and. After all the, we've lost a lot of calves this year, and with the last one being Samson was really hard. It looks like Walker's gonna stick around. Yeah. <laughs> He's a pet. We're hoping to eventually train him to a cart or something. So make so him we, useful. Make in him some useful way. and entertaining. Yeah. But um, right now, he's just over a year old, and uh, he's probably about 14 months old now. So, um, yeah, he's <laughs> he's it's, fun. He comes running and likes crackers and. Or yeah, he wants cookies. me to give him cookies, animal cook crackers. And uh, the kids like to sit on him, so he's just, you know, you, you decide you're going to farm and have beef cows, and the next thing you know, you have a riding cow for your children. <laughs> yes. It happens. Some people have dogs. We have riding cows. <laughs> but anyway, that's Walker. All right, this is Buster the Beagle. He is currently in a, what is this, 10 by 10, 8 by yeah. 8 uh, pen. He normally has a bigger yard, but we sold his yard for the goats. So we're <laughs> we have more fencing. We just haven't put it up yet. So he'll be out of the out of the pen before long. But right now, he's in here, and he's a he can't be free because he likes the road too much. He runs up to the main road, and that's not good. But he loves to rabbit hunt. So he either is out running around rabbit hunting, or he runs off. So in the pen, he has to stay. Yep. 
He's what you hear all the time being yeah. obnoxious barking in the background of our videos a lot. Yeah, he wants his voice to be heard. I mean, who can blame him? Yeah. All right, here's a few of our chickens. We have a ton. I have no idea how many. I would guess somewhere between 30 and 40 50. or 50. Yeah, <laughs> but these ones right here, they're real pretty. They're little bantams, so they're small chickens. They're um, sea brights. That one's just like a, I don't know what she is, some kind of so, kind of silky. And then we have the other curly one is a frizzle. And then just a, another rooster right here. I don't know. We have too many roosters, but the kids like them all. So it is what it is. So we have lots and lots of chickens and they're all over the place around here. So I doubt we'll be able to introduce each and every one individually. But, um, but what's that one's name? Which one? Oh, that's Renee, the little silky, yep. the blonde one. Her name is Renee. Okay. These are all of our beef cows. Um, like we said, actually, Clary's raised, over here yeah. too. We have so, American Tarantays, is what they are. This one right here, that's 14 not so heifer. She was 14 heifer when we got her. Now she's 14 not so heifer. Because she's had a calf. <laughs> yep. She has an older sister who is 14 11. This one, she's a little bit flighty. We've got two or three that are a little bit flighty. Um, but she has a sister here that's 14 11. She's pretty chill. Then we have her mother here who is old lady 14. So we have 14, not so heifer, 1411, and then old lady 14 is the mother of both of those. Do we have a 14 heifer? Uh, we do not. We just took we had old a lady 14. 14, had a 14 heifer, had a heifer calf that we uh, sent, the, sent back to Mr. Mike. So Mr. Mike, we actually lease the adult cows. They're not ours, in it, but we keep the calves. So yeah. that's um, what we're doing So here. then we have, not all of them have names, we have a black one that's Miss Alyssa, and Mr. Mike named her after one of his daughters, and she's really chill and laid back. We have number three, who is, she's a crazy one. You gotta watch her. We have number 30 that's fairly calm. I mean, you don't wanna mess with her when she's got a calf, but other than that, she's pretty chill. She's a good mommy. We have uh, number six, really good cow, calm, unless she's got a calf, normal. We have number one, which is a red cow, who's calm unless yeah. she's got a she's calf. She's a really nice cow. Yeah. She's pretty. Number six and number one are probably the best looking cows. I really number like. Six. Yeah, number six. She's Seven. Oh, I'm Seven. sorry. You're right, baby. Number six. Six, six died. Number God rest her soul. No, six passed away. She, she was did. an old cow. She's an old cow. She number passed. seven. Number seven. Is yes. I was confused. I was like, wait a minute. Number yeah, six number six seven is the one that we really like. She's a very pretty cow. Number one is a really pretty cow. Um, this is old lady 14 right here looking at us. And she is 16 years old, I believe. She's a good looking cow for 16 years old. Yep. And she's had a lot of she's calves. She's due to calve, what's today, the 9th? 10th. 10th. Today's 10th. 10th. So she's due to calve in 20 days. Um, this is Francois right here. He's an Angus. That's Francois, right? Yeah. Yep, that's Francois. He's an Angus Tarantase cross. So we had an Angus bull last, for a little while last year, and then we had a Tarantase bull. So we have three Angus cross calves. And then the rest for coming up will be tearing taste cows. Yes. And we had some issues with mineral deficiency. Francois is, he was seven born. Seven months old. Seven months old. These other calves here. Are like 15 months Are like old. 15 or 16 months old. Um, he is as big as they are now. We had some issues with mineral deficiency and we had to get all that worked out. That's why our next round of calves is so much bigger and doing so much yeah. better than the first round. We. <laughs> So. so the cow with her head up on top with the white on her face, that's Clary. And she's another milk cow. She's a, we think Jersey Holstein cross. We're not 100% sure. She was given to us by our neighbors. Um, we don't know. We don't think she's bred. We don't know how old she is. So she may be at the end of her productive life cycle for yeah. calving. We, we don't know. But she's here for now until we figure out if she's going to keep producing or gonna not. Keep but having calves, yeah. <laughs> so she just gets to be fed. <laughs> yep. And I think, let's see. We have a Jersey steer out here. We have that's right here. That's Jimmy. Some heifers. So we're the all the calves are ours for building our future herd. So we're right. um, we're pretty excited about them. But, we've got um, what six more calves coming within the next two months. Six more calves in months. by March. Yeah. Yeah. Ending in March. Yeah. So they starting basically at the beginning of February and going into March. Right. Like we'll have six more. Calves. And uh. And yep. then uh, hopefully we'll get everybody bred back. We're looking at trying to breed everybody early summer, um, late spring, early summer, so that we'll have like uh, spring babies rather than late winter babies or fall babies. We'd rather have babies coming into the spring when it's warm. Right. Getting warm anyway. So that's pretty much all the beef cows yeah. um, that we have right now. 
and uh, let's go check out. And well, and we haven't mentioned we want to do. We're going to do grass-fed beef. So we have a lot of steers, and we're raising up 100% grass-fed. And we will be. Um, we raise for our own family, but we will be marketing our beef for the first yes. time coming soon. So that's really exciting. That's yeah, we're, we're excited. Step in that direction. Of, this year could be the year we actually make a bit more than we spend on our farm. Yeah, we might profit maybe. <laughs> we'll yeah, see. We're, we're hoping. Um, we'll, we'll see how it all works out. We we definitely have not profited. We've we we've, no. we've sold things for money, but the expense has been way more than what we've what we've made right and that that's typical with most businesses but um typical with uh, especially starting up with farming and stuff you got a lot of expenses and yeah when you get to the point where you can actually start selling product you you know you're getting we're getting there it's a, it's a growth process so yeah. and farming is something you have to be passionate about it's yeah <laughs> it's a lot of work it's not for the faint of heart <laughs> but we love it it is just it is so fulfilling even we've had all the hardships that we've had out of, out of it it's just still so rewarding all right we have one horse and a donkey right now um pepper is technically belongs to emma our daughter um and she's mostly a pasture ornament but she's a good horse just hanging out and then um we're borrowing the donkey and we're going to attempt to have a baby mule but yes we'll see we'll see so far uh we haven't seen any evidence of that happening and he's really short and she's kind of tall so yeah. Whether it happens or not, we don't know. But for now, we have a mule and the, I mean a donkey. A borrowed donkey. A borrowed donkey, and the kids think he's really cool, and he's laid he's back. Really he's really chill, chill so it's just kind of fun to have him. So um, <laughs> They've just eaten. They've had their two buckets over there. She's <laughs> licking her chaps. So anyway, that's them, and they don't really serve much of a purpose other than just because. This is Mr. Pig, our boar. I'm not going in there with him because it's yucky in there right now. But... um this is our boar. He is really chill and calm. He's just a uh, he's a fun a fun boar. He's very good natured, and uh, so we try not to feed him too much because we don't want him to get too big and fat. We just try to keep him in good condition. So, but he is doing really good, really tame, calm boar, and he has sired. I think we had eight piglets from him yeah. so far. We have two more gilts. We'll show you next that we are going to breed to him next month. All right, these are our two gilts that we were just talking about that we're gonna get bred. A gilt. Um, a, a, go ahead. A gilt is a female pig that has not ever been bred before. Once yes. they've been bred and had babies, they'll be called a sow. So for those of you who don't know that, uh, a young we, we, pig. We saved these two out of our first sow that was really calm and chill, very good natured, very good mother pig, and um, we're hoping that those genetic traits are gonna come out in these two as yeah. well. They, uh, so far, we they're ended very up, calm. Hopefully we ended up calm. losing her. She gorged herself. We didn't know that was possible for a pig, but yes, they she did. Over it was terrible. But we, um, this is uh, the red one ginger. is Ginger. And the other one is Sandy, the one with the white, the red and white one. So yep. they yeah. jockey back and forth over yep. the feed pans, back and forth, back and forth the whole time. So we have a bunch more feeder pigs over here that we're raising for meat pigs. So we'll show you those. These girls get bred next month, which will be February, probably towards the middle or end of the month. We'll yeah. put the boar in here with them. And Mr. Pig normally does not live in a stall, but he has been so naughty, he gets tired of living by himself, which I don't blame him. So he gets out. But so he, get, he usually finds a way out and we've just stuck him in there temporarily until we can figure out another place to put him that's more secure. Yeah. So. He'll be out soon. So next month, he'll be out with these girls. Yeah. So, and he should be able to stay with yeah, them until they get close to stay with them for a while. Until they get close to actually having piglets. So, anyway, let's, let's go check the other ones. All right, these are all of our feeder pigs. They're just like I said, they're we're being raised for meat. There's several different ages in here, and uh, none of them have names yet, but they'll probably get named at some point when we decide that. We usually name them food names like gravy or biscuit. Um, we helped some friends of ours butcher three hogs yesterday, and one of their pigs' names was Patty because they love sausage patties. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, these are our bees. They're not flying or doing anything exciting we right open now. Them right now, it's too cold. Yes, for that. they're they? pretty much hibernating right now. So uh, we were gifted two sets <clears throat> of bees this year, and we were gifted these bee boxes to one of yep. our viewers. Um, got these off of our Amazon wish list and then a friend of ours local gave us the bees so we we're like 
bees. Yes. But, Super anyway, excited for honey this year. Can't show you much about the bees other than they're there. They're, they're, they're homes. Home. They're homes <laughs> because it's winter time and we can't open them up. But yeah, they are definitely an exciting part of the homestead, and Absolutely. we're really, really looking forward to having our own honey next year. Yes. But, all right, these are our Nigerian dwarf goats. We have Cocoa Mama and we have Rosemary. And Cocoa Mama is Rosemary's mama. From, so Rosemary was born last February and we bought them on Mother's Day of 2020. <laughs> so um, we have them and now we have Bob. He's, <laughs> he's as if on cue, he's gonna say, hey Bob. So this is Bob and we've had him here a week. We are borrowing him. He's a Nigerian dwarf, um, I believe, mini alpine cross so he's like one quarter mini alpine and three quarter nigerian or something to that effect i'm not exactly sure but he's a small guy we had to have a small buck for a small goat so he's here he's bred them um and hopefully they took and we'll know in about two more weeks if they if they don't come in heat then we're going to be like okay good they're bred come in heat he'll hang out for a while longer so we can make sure we get baby goats so we'll have baby goats come about the end of may or beginning of june um Bob's a little bit, <laughs> he's a little bit wild. Uh, he's knocked their little house apart again. So again, fix that. it's a daily deal. We had wire across trying to keep him on one side and them on the other, but. He decided work. it didn't work, so. He was like, now nah, I'm gonna go hang out with the lady. So we were like, okay, it works, but. Uh, we're gonna do something different today. Yeah, yeah we'll not sure what, yeah. He's not bad, he's not, it's just, he's just. Uh, he's not pest, as calm as pester, they are. Well, he pesters them more yeah. than anything. He's not gonna hurt them, but he just pesters them. All right, this is one of our three cats. This is Liza. Um, we got them when they were really, really little with their mama. And uh, he's gonna scratch me. I'm gonna put him down. <laughs> and we named them, we thought that, we well, kitties are really hard to tell what they are, their gender, and so we named him Liza. And then we found out that Liza was a boy, so Liza's a boy named Liza. And then we have Sally, who is a female, and we have Pebble who's another male, and I don't know where they went. They all ran off. They're usually running around playing, and the kids play with them and carry them around and hold them. But um, we had their mama, and she had four kittens, and we ended up, um, when they went to have them fixed at a vet's office, the one of the kittens got sick and didn't make it. So um, I caught Sally. Oh, there's Sally. And then this is Sally. So we had their mama, and then and we have, this is Sally. So Sally disappeared a couple months ago for over a day. We looked everywhere for her and couldn't find her. And then the next day she showed up and couldn't move her back leg. Obviously was injured. Um, turned out she had cracked her pelvis right at her hip socket and pelvis, I don't know. Um, and they said she may or may not regain use of her leg. If she didn't regain use of her leg, they'd have to amputate it. <laughs> so yeah. she was in a cage crate, cage crate, whatever you want to call it, for um, a while, for like three weeks. And for a long time, she couldn't move her leg. So <clears throat> we were thinking she would uh, definitely have to have it amputated and then all of a sudden just started working so yep. she's got four useful legs and that's uh and, and she's did well. you talk about pebble what about oh the cross that has eyes cross no just that he looks did you tell them oh, about no pebble? Okay. i mean i said we had a boy named yeah. pebble we have pebble he looks exactly like her he's just a little bit bigger except one eye crosses he, in it's yeah, kind of funny kinda, but we'll cross eyed cat yep, but that's so. okay um, so Other they're than this that, really cool color brown. Like uh, the yeah, vet was like, they're they brown and seen cats this color. Kind of, I can't get her to show you. They're marks. She's <laughs> she digging into my fingers. <laughs> Hold on, kitty. That's a cat attack. Yes. Hey, you okay? Kitty. I don't know um, if you can see the marking, the coloring on them. They're very pretty. Yeah. So we had mama cat who's solid black and her name was Bagheera. And then we have another <coughs> cat that was a stray and showed up here under our, was living under our porch for <coughs> a couple of years. And, and we named her Chloe. We were, oh. We, had a feather. Um, we were feeding her and everything and they've been here and then one day or i don't know recently chloe and bagheera both disappeared and yeah, they're back weird it's we don't been know a while month or so so but the three cats we kittens are not kittens anymore they're grown up but three kittens have stayed around but so um I aside from, i mean we can't individually introduce you to every chicken because there's a lot of them that would be a really long video yeah. but i think that's everybody and like we said we'll have six more calves coming up soon and um we also got a request for more cow videos. Yeah. So we'll try to work on that as well. More cow videos. Um, and that that's that's the wraps up this video. Yep, that's about it. So Y'all be sure. The kitties uh, were just now fighting with each other. Yeah, they they were. The kitties wrestle and they're really cute. Wait, yeah. this is your Christmas present. Oh, oh my Christmas present! Thank mm -hmm. you. I get a feather. Yes. Mm -hmm.
Thanks, bud. <laughs> Alright, well thank y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, hit the little bell, which will notify you every time we upload a video. And uh, be sure to leave a comment below and let us know yeah. how you're doing and what else you'd like to see on our channel. Absolutely, yes, we if appreciate you. If y'all have video suggestions or things you'd like to see, just comment below and let us know what they are. Right, we'll we'll catch, catch you guys later. See you later. <laughs>